Some icing flowers, like sunflowers for example, need to be piped petal by petal while you're going around in a circle. To do that, you're going to need to use a flower nail. I tend to use a flower nail for piping flowers that I can't pipe directly on my cake or desserts because the flower nail will give you more space and control to make those petals. It's also useful for making flowers that you'll need to use in advance. You can make a whole batch on a nail and set them aside and put them on later. Before we even begin piping, let's practice a little. I'm going to start by holding the base of the nail between my thumb and my forefinger of the hand not holding the decorating bag. I'm right-handed, so I hold the flower nail in my left hand, and I'm going to practice rolling the nail outwards away from my wrist. For left-handed decorators, you're going to hold the flower nail in your right hand, and again, we're going to roll outwards away from your wrist. Let me show you so you can see what that actually looks like. Now we're ready to do the test. I'm going to place a small dot of icing on the center of the nail to hold down the icing flower square. This is gonna act as a liner for my nail. Once I'm done with my flower, I just slide it off the nail and onto the tray to set aside. I have a bag fitted with a tip 104. We're going to start piping petals on the side of the nail closest to your fingertips. Watch how my hands are positioned. You don't wanna pipe on the other side because that would really be awkward. I'm going to go ahead and pipe my first petal. As I pipe my petal, I'm going to turn my nail simultaneously. This is not squeeze then turn, it's squeeze and turn. You're squeezing the bag and turning the nail at the same time. That's how you make a petal shape. I'm going to pipe my last petal here and I'm done. If you plan on covering up the surface of a smaller treat, like maybe a cookie or a cupcake, you can actually use the treat itself like a nail and pipe directly on it. You're going to want to do this for buttercream decorations whenever you can. Let me show you how to do that. We're doing the same steps for piping the flower, but instead of turning the nail, I'm just using my fingers to turn the actual cupcake. Same concept as the nail, just different movement. So let's try this. So I'm going to pipe my first petal, and then I'm gonna stop, and I'm gonna rotate my cupcake, and then I'm gonna go ahead and pipe another petal, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and repeat until I get all the way around my flower. The key to getting comfortable with the flower nail is a little bit of practice and patience. Once you start, you'll quickly get the hang of it and you'll be piping beautiful flowers in no time.